my favorite bands. Uh, what's up everybody? I am Jay Moss and I was gonna do a totally different video, but it just like wasn't going that well. So instead, uh, as someone who's just making stuff for you to watch on the internet, here are my favorite bands. Now I'm gonna make this up off the top of my head because I'm unprepared. My first, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. My first tape, my mom bought it for me. So mom, this is on you. My first tape was Wham! Make It Big. I know every word, uh, George Michael. I started skateboarding at five years old and I would blast, wham, make it big while I was skating. And uh, it, was, it was, wake me up before you go, go. Yeah, that was my first one. So I was off to a bad start, arguably a great start, but kind of a bad start. And then it didn't really get any better. I got into, um, Oh my god, I got into Color Me Bad. I wanna sex you up! No, like, what? <laughs> um, let me think. When did I actually... Oh, this is such a good story. Okay. So then I got into DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Uh, Nightmare on My Street, Parents Just Don't Understand. Classics. None of this millennium business. Just, just the old school, the duo. DJ Jazzy Jeff, The Fresh Prince, those were my favorite bands. At this point in my life, I am nine, nine years old. So at that point, I was only listening to like pop and rap and whatever. I didn't know anything about like rock music, bands, anything like that at all. And then my mom took me to a department store and she just wanted to be able to shop in peace without me bugging her. So she said, Jason, why don't you go to like the tape section and you can like pick out any tape you want, but just take your time doing so. The tape that I picked out was the soundtrack to Juice, starring Tupac Shakur. Uh, and I was psyched. I was like, hell yeah, like, mom, mom, this is the one I want. My mom looked at it and she said, let's pretend, let's pretend this is the soundtrack to Juice starring Tupac Shakur. And he, she looked at it and she was like, I don't think so. On the, on the end cap in the store, they had this big display and they had Nirvana Nevermind. Now, my mom goes over to the end cap and she says, what about this? Well, first of all, I was surprised that my mom was okay with me getting this tape because there was like a naked baby swimming on it, which is weird. Apparently a naked baby swimming, it was better to her than the soundtrack to Juice starring Tupac Shakur. I could not tell you why. Maybe we could have her on an episode and ask. I don't know. So I said yes. And the reason I said yes to getting Nirvana Nevermind over the soundtrack to Juice starring Tupac Shakur is because uh, Kate Emerson. Kate Emerson, if you are out there, I'm coming clean. In the sixth grade, I had a crush on you. We were in the cafeteria and you had casually mentioned. Now, Kate Emerson, I need you to know something. Anytime you spoke, I was like, Kate Emerson casually mentions Nirvana's my favorite band. So that was just like back there in my head and it popped back up when my mom was like, what about this? And I was like, oh yeah, I'll get that. So my introduction to like rock music, whatever, was Nirvana Nevermind. Now, what an amazing introduction. I missed all of like cock rocky. I missed all of hair metal and thank God I did. No, I'm sorry, if you're a little older than me and you like that stuff, it sucks, like it sucks. White Snake sucks, Poison sucks, like Guns N' Roses are like, Ugh. November Rain is a sick song, but. So Nirvana Nevermind is like my introduction into like rock or heavy or aggressive or whatever. I'm 11 at this point and I'm going to the skate park like daily, like skateboarding for sure is my life. And when you go to the skate park every day, you meet some older kids at the skate park who have a different opinion. They may even think Nirvana sucks. At the time I was not willing to accept that and to this day, I am not willing to accept that. However, I was introduced to like a lot of punk really quickly just for being at the skate park in the early 90s. So Husker Du, Dinosaur Jr., Bad Brains, Circle Jerks, Down By Law, No Effects, Minor Threat, man. Uh, and then 
on the bus one year later, 12 years old. Maggie Caswell Mackey, if you're out there. Maggie Caswell Mackey was a girl at my school and she skated and that was so sick. So I'm on the bus and Maggie's like listening to her headphones or whatever. And you know, I'm a younger kid, so I'm like really, really interested in what the older kids are doing. So I turn to Maggie and I tap her. I say, hi Maggie, uh, what are you listening to? And she goes, Fugazi. A 12 year old appreciating Fugazi is tough. A 30 year old appreciating Fugazi is even sometimes a challenge. And so I put the headphones on and I listened to this thing and, and like, I just, I don't know if I liked it or if I just knew I was supposed to like it, but I liked it. And to this day, from that bus ride until right now, and probably in perpetuity, uh, Fugazi is my favorite band. I love Fugazi. I understand that it sounds like out of tune, weird jamming and stuff, but it's my favorite band. So now that you know what my favorite band is, that brings me to what are J Moss's, yours truly, five favorite bands. And I have to kind of just make it up and think about this right now. Fugazi's number one. Braid is probably number two. This was a emo band from like whose greatest prosperity was in the late 90s. Uh, they came out with a record called Frame and Canvas uh, in 1998 on Polyvinyl Records. Jawbreaker, oh, yo, Jawbreaker tattoo. Check it. See that? Yup. Jawbreaker, for sure. Um, so that's three is Jawbreaker. I might have to go with Russian Circles as my fourth favorite band. Uh, I'm a huge Russian Circles fan. Uh, no vocals, ambient, heavy, dark, played well. A lot of triplets, a lot of la, uh, 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 uh. Last favorite band, number five. I think I gotta go with the Get Up Kids. I know I'm an emo cliche. I know. Dude, it's my other like band tattoo. Check it. Boom. Red Letter Day EP. What up? So don't ever question my loyalty to the Get Up Kids. Uh, I adore that band. Yeah, I guess that's my top five. So, internet, why don't you tell me your top five? Tell me your story. How did you get into punk? I dare you. Anyway, I was supposed to make a totally different other video. I didn't do it. I gotta go mix. All right, I am Jay Moss, and those are my top five bands. So, now you know. I am just an emo, indie, weirdo guy. Dinosaur Jr. came very close to making that list. Like, very, very close. All right, goodbye.